Hi, I'm Celeste Duffy, author of The Ask Backwards Way to Move Forward. Dear poor people, so I've heard from many of you, and many of you are wondering why men don't marry. I'm glad you asked. We're going to go through that today. Today I'm going to tell you why the marriage rate is in decline, what happened to marriage, and what's happening now. We all agree that marriage is in decline. We can look back 50 years ago, probably even 30 years ago, maybe even closer than that. And what we realize is people are not getting married and they're not getting married at the rate that they used to. And no one seems to know why they're not getting married. I have some thoughts on, on why that's happening. The number one reason people are not getting married is because men have abandoned their responsibility to lead. Lead in many areas, but with regard to this discussion, specifically lead in marriage. It is the man's job, it is his responsibility to create an environment where marriages flourish. What happened to marriage? So a couple things, let's go all the way back. Let's go back to the beginning. This is not new. We can start with the story of Adam and Eve. Adam was in the garden. God had given him dominion. He was running around naming everything. He finished naming everything. He was sitting around in paradise, looking around, had nothing to do. So apparently he was lonely. He went to God and said, this is great. This is paradise, thank you. But I cannot enjoy it because I'm alone. God heard his humble cry and said, okay, I'll do something for you. I'm gonna give you Eve. And he gifted him a woman. And then Adam had Eve and he was in the garden with Eve and he was happy and he loved Eve. And when he finished loving Eve, he went to sleep at the wheel. Talk about past being prologue. So it was in the garden, it is today. Men are asleep with their responsibilities. The reason the marriage rates are in decline is because the conversation about marriage has been centered with women. That is, just, that is asinine. That, that's doomed to fail. That is not a conversation for women. The conversation for marriage is for men. Why? The conversation for marriage is for men because it is the man who must do the choosing. It is the man who has to advance the relationship. Men have to ask you for your phone number. Men have to ask you if they can take you on a date. Men have to provide an environment that's comfortable for you so that they can get to know you. And why do they have to do that? Because the Bible said, a man who findeth a wife findeth a good thing. He is physiologically and biologically motivated. He's endowed with a motivation to do so because his job, meaning his purpose, is to find a good thing. He has to do it. So the, the fact is, if, if all we're doing is talking about with marriage, how many women are marrying, what are the statistics around marriage, 43% or 22% or this many got divorced, it's all about women. That's all you see in the women's magazines. That's all they're talking about on blogs. Even in the Christian community, I love you. Even in the Christian community, conversations about you know what type of, of spiritual woman you're going to be and what it means to be a helpmate. Women, stand down. Get out of this. This is not for you. This is not your lane. This is his lane. And as long as we allow men to not, to not center this conversation about marriage with men, the marriage rate is not going to increase. It is a man's job to move the relationship forward. It is a man's job to advance the relationship. So ladies, if you are a woman who is sitting around, complaining to your friends, very upset all the time about your relationship, first I wanna tell you, relax, we are all exhausted. Second only, I wanna say, please stop. Please stop. Nothing has changed. So it was then, it is now. Adam is asleep. 
So all of your advertisement about what a great woman you are and all of your good qualities and virtues and you saying, see how good I keep a house and look what a great cook I am and oh, I made a pie. You want a slice of pie? Or I was on Amazon the other day and I found a great gift for your mother's birthday. I'm going to send you the link on Mother's Day. Don't worry, I'm at the store anyways. I'll pick up a card and some flowers for you to give your mother. Oh, you are advertising what a great help me you are. I am asking you. In fact, we're all asking you, please sit down. Please stop. Let Adam rest. Let Adam cook. He will wake up when he's ready to wake up. And when he does, he won't want you. So please leave him to his slumber. Sleep in heavenly peace. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you'll know when I drop another video. I am Celeste Duffy author of The Ask Backwards Way to Move Forward, and this is Dear Poor People.